Hmm. Fuck yeah. Is the guys obviously are not done, and and from what I'm reading here in the dispatch notes, apparently the supervisor over the site who was in front of your home today, he actually called uh, one of my subordinates under me uh, to explain to me that he had some issues with and they were unable t to complete the work due to m multiple individuals in the area bothering him. Now, I'm not saying that that was you necessarily, but it appears that they would have been able uh, to finish the job, and they would have been out of your yard or out of the easement if people would have left my guys alone. But now, how are we going to explain to our customers th that there's a holdup now and th that's why we have to come back because we've got customers who are having a fit since we can't fix it as everyone is interfering with our work. Right, and we can certainly empathize with that, and I can assure you that we weren't interfering with the work. The questions that my husband asked were probably no more than a 60-second conversation. What I did see was a lot of sort of horseplay with some of the workers. I saw one worker was, like, tickling or jabbing at the other workers. So I saw a lot of horseplay on the part of the, the team that was out there. And at any point in time, there was as many as, I want to say, like seven to ten people at one point in time out in front of our home. And when my husband inquired once the vehicle was up on the property, um, because keep in mind, some of the grass that we had planted was new, so he was just inquiring as to, well, how much longer and how much digging is okay. this really going to take? Okay. The one I'm going to be honest. Act, uh, well, hold I on apologize. one second, because I, I let you speak, so can you just let me finish my statement? Sure. Sure. The one gentleman actually said to my husband, I don't even know why they have a vehicle on your property this way. They are not supposed to have a vehicle on the property, so that's why I, I'm calling a supervisor. Okay. They're not listening to me. That's okay. what we were told. We okay. didn't get involved <laughs> beyond that. He came and rang the bell. Yeah, he came and rang the bell on two separate occasions to let us know what was going on. Okay. So we weren't the ones that were causing the disruption. And certainly, again, I can empathize with the fact that, you know, you need to meet your customers' needs, and I can certainly appreciate that. But we weren't the delay in the process. I can assure you of that. Now, the other piece, sir, that, that was alarming to us and talking to, once we talked to um, Kendra. Michael, Michael transferred us to Kendra, and then Kendra shared with us some very alarming statements that they're accusing um, my husband of making towards them and feeling threatened, and we're just, we're totally caught off guard by that because none of that actually happened. And so we're just concerned about the fact that there's, there seems to be a massive disconnect and miscommunication because they are communicating something that is not fact-based. Okay. And so we're concerned about their return to our property if they, in fact, have said even half of what Kendra shared to us in the note. Okay. Now, in relation to your comment as to how long it takes, I'm just going to say right now it'll take us as long as it fucking takes out of run the line, okay? It's 11 o'clock, and I've been drinking all night. I'm fucking ornery, I'm, and I'm pissed, so please forgive me. This is totally unacceptable. What, what is your name? Dave Jones. Dave Jones? Yeah. And what you the fuck you want, Com Willis? And you represent Comcast? Yes, sir. Oh, that fucker hung up. They <laughs> 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 oh, were tickling man. each other in horseplay. Yeah, play. horseplay. <laughs> the damn horseplay. What the fuck are they talking about? Too? How did I do, Dwight? That was pretty good. Yeah, uh, Dashie wanted you to say that they were hold the, they're holding the cables hostage. <laughs> no, I saw that, and I went to say it right at the end, and they fucking hung up. Every time they kept saying Michael Weston, I wanted to play this. My name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... <laughs> I love that show. Hello? 
My name is Michael Weston. I used to be a spy until... We got a burn notice on you. You're blacklisted. Who is this? Oh, this is Michael Weston. Listen, stop calling, okay? I used to be a spy. Stop calling us. You're harassing us. I'm sorry. We'll be out tomorrow to do the work, so don't worry your tits. No, right? you will not. Hey, no, you will not. Hey, don't tell don't, me no. Don't. Oh. <laughs> you have no You're control over to, us. To to the prank call nation network machine. Hello. 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 At prankcallnation.com.